Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the eighth video of my Fallout 76 Wastelanders main quest series. Here we are it's just outside the uh, Overseer's home in Sutton, and we are about to go follow her to vault -Tec University so that we can go find the secret restricted area of vault -Tec to maybe find out what was in Vault 79. So let's head to vault -Tec University now. Right up here in Morgantown. Alright, here we are at uh, VTU. Formerly WVU, West Virginia University. Purchased by vault -Tec and converted into their educational institution to train their overseers. Interesting, I've never met this guy before. I imagine this campus was quite lovely once. Ah, oh, what a magnificent place this once was. The very epicenter of learning here in Appalachia. Truly. Nothing is as valuable as a good education. As Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Well said, well said indeed! It's so good to meet a fellow devotee of the humanities. I don't mind saying that enlightened minds such as yours and mine are in desperate short supply of late. So, what brings you here to the hallowed halls of vault University? Uh, searching for knowledge? Uh, foraging for supplies? Or perhaps some secret mission you can't talk about? I'm here to meet someone. A woman with glasses and gray hair. Have you seen her? Not only have I seen her, we had a pleasant conversation just a short while ago. She went inside the school. I do hope she's safe. I have some questions. Ask away. Where are you from? Up north, Connecticut, a small town called Monroe, named for the fifth president of the United States. It was quite lovely, especially in the autumn. My wife and I used to ride the bicycle trails on Sundays, and then visit the local brewery for a pint. Ah, I do miss those days, and I miss my Millie. May she rest in everlasting peace. What brings you to Appalachia? Uh, that's a bit of a story. Not long after the war, I lost my wife Millicent to cancer. Likely brought on by the radiation. Every day I questioned whether to go on living at all. Without her, the days were empty. Devoid of any purpose beyond the simple need to survive. But in time... Once I'd learned to adapt to living in the world after the bombs, I decided to set a new goal for myself. I set out to visit those great American centers of learning that still remained intact. I've always felt at home in such places. And so, here I am. At least for a while. What did you do before the war? I was a teacher. History and literature were my subjects. It always brought me great joy to illuminate the eager minds of children. Well, for the few who are interested at any rate, high school students are easily distracted, I'm afraid. What do you think about the vault Corporation? Well, I'd start by saying that without vault humanity would be lost. The vault saved precious lives and gave us a chance to rebuild. Now, we all heard about the rumors and controversies. But what large corporation doesn't have to cope with such things from time to time? As far as I'm concerned, the only real blemish on vault -Tec's record is the rather shameless corporate branding on display here at VTU. That's all I wanted to know. Very well. Was there anything else? Thanks for your time. Certainly. It was a genuine pleasure. He really does not know anything about vault -Tec. If he thinks that the uh, shameless corporate branding here was the biggest blemish on their record. Okay, let's go find the Overseer. Interesting little conversation there, though. So it looks like the layout of this place has changed since we were last here. It looks like we got uh, campus security bots now. Instead of feral ghouls. intruder detected. Beginning search. 
But yeah, this hallway did not used to be blocked. Let's head upstairs. Secure. Alright. I know there's a restricted section of the university. You think the students never noticed who comes and goes? Nothing there it after all. Does not matter what you may have seen or heard before you graduated overseer. That is not my concern. I your president has arrived. Come here. We need to discuss this ridiculous request. I do want to go talk to them. I just want to make sure we don't get interrupted in the middle of that. Okay, with the uh, security dealt with, let's talk to Professor Bot. The Overseer mentioned there would be more people coming. Did she tell you we need to get into the restricted wing? Assuming there even is a restricted section, and I am not verifying that, neither of you. Have Bolton University credentials. The Overseer graduated from here. She doesn't have access? Faculty and staff determine who goes where in this university. Nah, former students. I might be the only human being connected to this place that's still alive. My authority doesn't override yours? No, it does not. And for the record, I was the dissenting opinion on fast tracking your overseer assignment. You are not pushing your way through me. There has to be a way we can gain access. There is one thing I need. A new graduating class. Unfortunately, your overseer has already passed the final exam, but you, you could take it. You mean the vault simulation? That's ridiculous. All the professors are gone. The vaults have already been assigned. My programming dictates that this university's purpose is to produce graduates, and I intend to follow the rules. Unlike some people, the simulation will be run by the Mr. Handy janitorial staff. It is an experimental protocol, but you will find they are more than up to the task. So how does this test work? You will be given a scenario that you need to Accomplish in the vault simulation area. The Andes will play as the residents you need to oversee. Why do you need a graduating class? Producing quality graduates is the very foundation of my purpose. A purpose that has gone unfulfilled for far too long. Fine, I'll complete this exam of yours. Glad we agree. In this test scenario, your ball has divided into factions. You must resolve the conflict any way you see fit. Your chief of security will fill you in on the details. Good luck. I'm not familiar with this test scenario. Professor Bott must have come up with it on his own. All right, let's head down to the test vault. Now, I just want to point out my favorite potential vault experiment right here on Liam Hornet's terminal before we go on, just because I love it so much. An experiment for determining the ability of canines to form a self-governing society. Basically, the experiment will involve a group of dogs trained to train other dogs to perform typically human-run tasks I've begun training my miniature schnauzer Riley to operate vault doors, which I think is a promising start to the experiment. I'd be happy to bring her in at any time to demonstrate. 
That was not well received. <laughs> uh, before when I said that this place was where they trained their overseers, that is true, but it wasn't just the overseers. It was also medical staff, uh, maintenance, things like that. Basically anybody who wasn't just a normal civilian resident who was going to live there. Let's head down here. Okay. I think there's still more robots in here. Maybe not, but it's better to be safe than sorry, as we saw with all those ants in that Robco vault. Alright, so yeah, if you uh, don't know, the final vault experiment here was taking place while, when the bombs dropped and these folks all starved, because uh, the experiment they were undertaking was whether or not a uh, food mixture that was basically guaranteed to cause heart attacks it was just to see how the vault population would react under those circumstances, which is ridiculous. But if you really want to learn about it, you can read uh, the Overseer's logs here. You can also lead, read uh, Dean Harlan Elliott's stuff up on his terminal. But yeah, uh, final entry right here from November 2nd, where they've breached the outer seal and are beating their way into his office. He had no idea that this was really happening here. He was trying just a different food mixture. It was his boss, the Dean, that changed the food mixture to kill the students. Um, now I don't see it in here, but typically there's a container of rat poison. There it is, right behind him. So yeah, he killed himself here in this office. Okay, so here's the Chief of Security. You're the new overseer. Heck of a boiling pot you're stepping into. A little tiff between the engineers and the med staff is ready to blow. Fault dwellers arguing with each other? What else is new? It's not like the usual bickering. Accusations of murder are being thrown around. There was a reactor leak. Kellerman, head engineer's apprentice, rushed in to fix it. Poor kid got a full dose of rads. That's awful. That's not the worst of it. Dr. Loras, head of the medical team, refused to send in help. Quarantined the reactor area so nobody died trying to go in there. Head engineer Brass accused the doctor of murder. Then, a couple days later, people noticed that one of the doctor's assistants, Estella, was missing. Everyone thinks it's a revenge killing. An eye for an eye. Was a body ever found? No. There's no evidence. No weapon, not one speck of blood. I'm at a loss over here. Need you to make sense of all this. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. No task is too great for the Overseer! I, uh... That's... that's good to hear, Overseer. I'll be here if you need me. Sounds good. All right. Now we need to go talk to the, uh... Head of Engineering and the Head of Medical. Which I think we can safely assume are robots as well. There used to be a really cool little glitch where there was like material missing from the corners and you could see this weird rainbow effect. But uh, anyway, okay. Let's see, we got one pointing us over in this direction. Infirmary. Dr. Loris. Ah, Overseer. I'm so glad you've stepped into this little mess of ours. I'm sure you'll resolve the matter swiftly. I want to talk to you about your feud with Head Engineer Brass. I don't have a feud with Brass. He has a feud with me. I'm only doing my job, Overseer, looking out for the health of the Vault. And I'm sorry to say that, in my medical opinion, the Chief Engineer is suffering from paranoia and revenge fixation. We can't let that fester. I heard you quarantined the reactor. An engineer died. Oh, nasty business. But I'm not going to apologize for it. It had to be done. As doctors, we take an oath to do no harm. But sometimes, we have to choose between saving one life or saving several. What are you suggesting we do? Simple. You can authorize me to place the head engineer under medical supervision. A combination of chems and therapy will do the rest. There might be some protest, but I think our combined authority will keep that to a minimum. I'll think about it. Of course, it's your decision, Overseer. 
I'm only trying to help. Okay, let's find uh, Head Engineer Brass. Where is he? I don't see any uh, little cursors drawing us anywhere. Oh, I guess he's downstairs. There we go. Wow, they gotta clean this room up. Overseer, huh? We'll see. You got a problem with me? Not yet. Not a fan of conversation, huh? No. I'm here to talk about your feud with Dr. Loris. Don't care what security says. Dr. Loris had no right to quarantine the reactor. Leaving Kellerman to die? Murder. That's all there is to it. I want justice, Overseer. I heard Loris' assistant is missing. Did they tell you how me and my crew scoured every inch of this vault looking for her? Yeah, that's right. Every loose access panel and every vent. You think I wanted anyone else to die? The only one here that cold-blooded is Dr. Loris. He proved that with Kellerman. You said you scoured every inch of the vault? What about the quarantine area? Couldn't, could we? Only Loris and his staff have access once an area is quarantined. You want me to arrest Dr. Loris? No. Half this vault thinks he did the right thing. You do anything to him now, that split will turn violent. I want him exposed. Prove to everyone that he's the bad gear in this vault's engine. I need to think about this. Huh. Fine. But when you're ready to step up and be the overseer, you let me know. Okay, so from what he said, it sounds to me like, uh... This doctor's assistant is likely in that quarantine area. If they did, in fact, search everywhere else in the vault, that's the only place that would be left. Especially if the doctor was holding that place in quarantine, then he likely is the one who had access, and therefore the assistant would have access. Let's talk to the doctor. How can I help? I'd like the key to the reactor area. I'm afraid I can't really comply with that request, Overseer. The reactor is under quarantine. The radiation could kill you. I'm your Overseer. I demand you give me the key. No, I don't mean to be impertinent, but I can't in good conscience send you to certain death. If this simulation is like the original ones, there's probably a key in his office we can grab. Or just pick the lock on the reactor door. Well, we're in his office, so we may as well look around here. Grilled rad roach in that chem cooler. Okay, nothing yet. Anything there? No. Grab that. No. Ah! Reactor key. Right down here by the uh, file cabinet in the corner. Okay. So if I remember correctly, the reactor... Which way is it? I think it's up this way, actually. Yeah. Alright, so we'll find... Uh, our way into the reactor and see if we can't find the doctor's assistant. I'm assuming that the radiation is simulated, that we're not actually going to run into a bunch of radiation in here. So we got the generators here. Ah. We got Kellerman, that's the uh, engineer, and Estella, and that's the uh, doctor's assistant. Let's play Estella's holotape. Stella, Dr. Loris's assistant. I snuck into the reactor to help Kellerman, but there's not enough time. The reactor is going to go critical. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it, but the radiation is going to get us. At least the vault will be safe. Okay, we need to get this back to the security chief. So I guess there is actually a minor amount of radiation coming off those. Makes sense if those radiation, if those reactors are actually powering just the vault simulation. I mean, they wouldn't have to put off that much power to just keep the lights and, uh, I guess, life support online. Intruder, identify yourself. <laughs> I guess he uh, hears me up there. All right, security chief Robinson. Did you have a question, Overseer? I found Estella. She had this holotape on her. You found her? Poor lass. I'm guessing she didn't make it. The 
Let's take a listen then. Uh, so she wasn't murdered. She was trying to save Kellerman. Two of them ended up saving us all. This is big news, Overseer. We take this to Brass and Loras, it could end the infighting for good. Gather them up. Let's put this ugliness behind us. At once, Overseer! Everyone gather in the common area! We have an important announcement from the Overseer. What's this about, Robinson? I have charts to update. Maybe the Overseer's finally decided to throw your murderous backside in jail. That's enough! The Overseer has discovered what happened to Estella. This holotape proves she went into the quarantined reactor area on her own. She and Kellerman saved the vault. They... work together? Medical and engineering? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. Bickering like two old men while the young ran off to solve our problems. It should have been us. I... actually agree with you there. So that's it then? No more arguing? You'll both work under the Overseer's authority? Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Good job. That's a solution any Overseer should be proud for getting to. Everyone learns we have to work together. Alright, now we have to go back and talk to Professor Bot. So we gotta go back up into the school. And I'll bring you back when we get there, because it's a little bit of a hike. Alright, we're back. Let's talk to, uh, to Professor Bot. Well, it appears you passed the test. Barely exceeding my low expectations of you. I found your simulation dull and uninspired. Zero stars. Everyone is a critic. You are lucky. This university does not have a disciplinary program for being a smart ass. You are now an official graduate of Voltec University, entitled to access to the restricted way. Back down in the vault, simulation space is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe will have what you are looking for. It was almost good to see you again, Professor Bod. Yes, Overseer, I suppose it was. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program. You must be proud. Actually, I am. Afraid I don't have my old cap and gown to share with you. Hopefully, what we'll find in the restricted wing will be even better. All right. That's right. We are now uh, part of the United States Army, a general within the Enclave, a member, a volunteer of the Responders. Let's see what else. I guess friendly with the Brother to Steel. I don't know what a way to put that. And now a graduate from Vault Tech University. Let's get down to that restricted area. Oh yes, I almost forgot. A mistress of mystery as well. All clear. Okay. Let's get into this maintenance area here. This is it. Somewhere past this maintenance area is the restricted wing. I'm hearing things moving around. And it seems that they're hostile, so... Approach and... Identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. Okay, that's been dealt with. I think we're going in here. Okay. Here, this has to be it. 
Let's see what they left behind. That looks like somebody from vault -Tec University died here. There's a couple somebodies. Man, look at all these drives. I would love to know what's on all of these. Hey, we got a projector and a screen. Let's uh, click it on and take a seat. Talk to the overseer. For once, the rumor mill gets it right. There is a treasure in that vault. All of America's gold reserves. What's so important about gold? Not as much today, but that's just it. Put aside the base instinct of hoarding wealth. What could we do with a vault full of precious metals? If everyone knew we had it, we could build a base to recommission trade, establish our own currency. Exactly. No more barter or wild, unregulated proxies. It won't happen overnight, but one day we could have leverage to create a new economy. Property rights, taxes, laws, a government. vault -Tec must have planned all this. They're still watching out for us. I doubt it. I think something must have gone wrong. The American government should have come to reclaim the gold. They should be here, but there's no point worrying about all that. We need to get into that vault ourselves, and more importantly, we need help to do it. Fortunately, you just made contact with two large groups of people who both seem to have their own talents. We don't need either of them. We should keep this within 76. Appalachia isn't just ours anymore. We need people whose talents aren't covered in the vault deck training manuals. Look. Talk to them both. See if they can help us. We can plan more once we know what all our options are. Okay, so we have two new objectives here. We have to talk to Meg and we have to talk to Paige about entering Vault 79. Let's go talk to uh, Meg first, given I think we're closer. So we'll head there now. Before we move on to Crater, I just wanted to go over this maintenance area because I felt we kind of blew past it. We came in through there, went right up through there, and we just ignored the entire rest of the area. So let's take a look. we got this protector on right here. Coming up the stairs, there's this uh, maintenance area here. we got uh, what looks like some sort of mill here. A big tank of uh, fuel. We've got a Mr. Gutsy that I killed here. We've got some file cabinets. 
some other junk down there on some crates. Coming down here, we got uh, some crates, some junk. But there's not too much to see right here in this area, so let's head upstairs. And here you can see that they were able to observe what was going on inside the vault uh, during the experiment. Now there's no indication that there was actually anybody here when everything went wrong. Uh, but it's kind of crazy that you think that when the bombs fell maybe that somebody would have been here. Of course it was a Saturday so maybe not. Um, it's just hard to imagine that nobody thought to go let the people out of the vault when the bombs dropped. Of course they could have been thinking they're going to be dead soon anyway so what's the point? But uh, let's come back over here. I'm going to drop down. Okay, so let's take a look through here. And you can see the residential area. So this is the bunk room. One of them, at least. we got some more machines over here. Coming up this way. More machines. we got uh, another little residential area here. And there's a terminal right here. Current process. Note to current assistant proctors, do not release substances into the vault unless so directed by the lead proctor. It is imperative that we time our actions with the actions of the current overseer in training for maximum emotional impact. Conflicts of interest. All, please let the lead proctor know if you have any pre-existing relationships with any of the test participants. It is our job to apply the procedures impartially and decisively. Hearing our friends in discomfort or pain can be unsettling, and may lead to underprescribed application of test materials. Similarly, it's only human to take pleasure in the pain of an enemy or an ex-lover. As always, we endeavor to apply our procedures in an unemotional and scientific fashion. Current levels. Container 1, steam 75%. Container 2, flatches 100%. Container 3, carbon monoxide 100%. Container 4, raw sewage 90%. Container 5, Mintat infused water, 73%. Container 6, Stable Strangelets, 18%. And Container 7, Blood, 0%. Alright, let's uh, continue looking down here. Got a couple of lockers with nothing in them. More consoles. Got uh, a view of uh, the hallway there. Coming down here, uh, a couple of bot pods here that release uh, these campus security bots. Uh, this is actually a hidden door. Uh, when you come in here, I'll show you a quick clip right Area here of what this looks like. Secure. But we can come back through here and close it. But watch what happens when we open it. Hidden wall comes back in, retracts into the wall. Okay. Coming through here, we got some shelves. Got a view of the uh, dining area here with a camera. Little, uh, Secure containment thing there. Not sure what that's for. Let's take a look in here. We got some more junk. This stuff's kind of jumbled, and I'll show you why here in just a second. Uh, there are also uh, some explosive crates in here. At least two of them. I'm gonna grab that plasma grenade. Uh, coming back around here, we can now go up these stairs, and you're gonna see why all that stuff's jumbled. That. That assaultron. I used up 15 grenade launcher rounds, 8 grenades, and a large amount of ammunition killing that thing that spawned out of this bot pod. Seemed to me to be a little overpowered, but uh, that may just be me. But uh, let's see, we got another explosives crate there. And we have a view of the classroom here. Coming around here we got a couple more lockers, another view of the classroom. And we can now go upstairs over here. And we have a water fountain, a desk, another desk there, with some circuitry and some loose screws. Uh, there's the uh, location steamer trunk here, and then some bones. That's a little unsettling that there are skeletons in all these. But I think that'll do it for this area, so let's go on to Crater. Okay, here we are at the uh, Crater. Let's speak with Meg. Looks like your little inoculation worked like a charm. We've established your usefulness, but don't mistake our gratitude for hospitality. Yet here you are. It tells me you're not here just to waste my time. You want something. And it must be important, else you wouldn't be barging in here like you run the place. Out with it. The treasure here in Appalachia? It's real. Locked in Vault 79. Well, if that don't pique my interest... Please, go on. What exactly, pray tell, is inside this Vault 79? The U.S. Treasury's supply of gold. All of it. 
This is a fascinating turn of events, ain't it? The things I could buy with that gold. You know, I heard rumors about it round here. Of course, the last sucker who tried to use the location of the trove as a bargaining chip is still dangling from a wire outside as we speak. Liars get wires, you dig? So let's pretend for a moment I don't believe you. What you got to convince me? I've got schematics I recovered from VTU. I can show them to you. Shit. You know I could just kill you and take this, right? You got a lot to learn before you can roll with us, 7-6. Try something, and I'll break you in half. <laughs> Ooh, I like the cut of your jib. Maybe there is hope for you. Toss it up on the board and let's see what you got here. Alright. Nice vault suit. Your mom dressed you? Hmm. All right. All right. Seems pretty legit. I assume you're coming to me because we got the skills to get into this here vault. But you know, we ain't gonna do this out of the goodness of our hearts, baby doll. Oh, no, no. I'm gonna expect a significant cut of the goods inside. So we're gonna have ourselves an agreement here, see? I supply the people power. You supply the location. We all get inside, we nab the goods, you get a nice fair little cut, and we all make out like bandits, you dig? What kind of cut are we talking about? I don't know, 50% of whatever we take in? Now remember who's gonna do all the heavy lifting in there. If the treasure's half as good as you say, it should be more than enough to set you up for life. And if you impress me enough, maybe you get to roll with us. That is... As long as you're cool with people calling you a raider. Seems fair. Damn straight it does. So, first things first. We gotta have a plan to crack that big-ass vault door wide open, right? Easy peasy, light and breezy. That's a job for Lucky Lou, our demo expert. If he can't explode it, then it ain't from this earth. Now, uh, Lou can be a real shut-in. On account of his, uh, skin condition. But I trust him more than just about anybody. Why don't you go see him in his room down below? Introduce yourself. Fill him in on the plan, then do whatever prep work he needs you to do, you dig? Why is he called Lucky Lou? At least when it comes to dying. Lou's got a knack for cheating death. He was up in Pittsburgh, 70 years old when shit went down. They say a real honest-to-goodness A-bomb fell straight in his living room. Thing didn't go off. A dud. The radiation came flowing down the rivers into the city. Most died or went feral. But Lou, he survived. Changed, but with his mind intact. You get the picture. Got it. I'll go talk to Lou. Right on, 7-6. Do your thing. Just try to keep this on the down low, all right? I don't want the entire camp knowing what's going on yet. Only tell who I say to tell, you dig? Hey, 7-6. You know, the quicker you get Lou on board with us, the quicker we get into that vault. Still can't believe they're all dead. David, Margie, Freddy. None of those groups survived. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Lou in a while. I mean, oh, well. At least he's got you to check up on him. The damn freak. I'm gonna get you better six. watch out now that I drank that inoculation shit. I'm gonna tear them to pieces and they can't do nothing about it. That drink didn't make you invincible, you idiot. They can still kill you, you know. The hell? Shit, are you saying I drank that nasty crap for nothing? I'm saying you're an idiot, idiot. Alright, so we've got two objectives we can go do. We can either go talk to Lou in his room or we can go tell Paige. Given that we're already here, let's go talk to Lou. Now, this is the uh, first part of the quest of cheating death, but uh, we're going to make sure that both sides know about the Hall of Gold, and we're going to pursue getting into the vault on both sides. So let's check down over here, because I think this is the right direction here. So yeah, Lou wasn't here the first time we came in here, if this is his room, because this was empty. Lou's goodbye note. Gone forever. Don't get nebby and come looking. 
I ain't gonna be an eyesore around here no more. I already told Fisher, he's got claimed all my stuff. The rest of you can fight over the scraps. Well, let's go talk to Fisher. Is it daytime out there? You can lose track of time down here. You're the new guy, aren't you? I seen you talking with Meg and poking around. Fat brings you to me. I found a note from Lou that says he took off. He mentioned you in it. What do you know about his disappearance? Lou, huh? He... I, uh... Didn't know he was gone. Maybe he was just tired of being cooped up in that hole of his and then for some fresh air? We'll do this the hard way then. The hard way's got way more punching. Okay, okay. You got me. I confess. I intentionally misled you. But it's not what you think. I had to do it. I promised Lou I would try to throw people off his trail if they came looking for him. I was hoping he'd come to his senses, return by now. This wouldn't be necessary. Truth is, I'm worried. When he left, he was more glum than usual. Like something was weighing heavy on his mind. Did something bad happen to him recently? Nothing I'm aware of. <laughs> Nothing truly bad ever seems to happen to him. In fact, if I was still a religious man, I would say God watches over him and has special plans for Lou here on this earth. Lou's one of the luckiest men alive. He's over 95 years old. And still fit as a fiddle, sharp as a tack. I've witnessed over a dozen times. There's something should have frightened killed any normal man, but not Lou. There's no way he's as lucky as you say. Indeed, no lies. Just last month, a death claw set upon his raiding party. This thing rips through every one of them. But when it gets to Lou, it takes a sniff at him and goes on its merry way. Maybe he didn't like the smell of ghoul? Or maybe it's something else. Whatever the case, the man's lucky to be alive. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Not exactly. But I did send out a friend of mine to go find him, just before you showed up. She's a tracker. Best I've ever known. Unfortunately, she hasn't come back yet. Might be she's having trouble getting Lou to see eye to eye. My friend's not the best conversationalist, and Lou Starbar. Maybe you can go and mediate. Uh, talk some sense into old Lou. That's great, but that still doesn't tell me where I need to go. Oh, right. Uh, pardon me. Since my tracker body went off alone, I rigged up a tracking beacon I could use to find her. Just in case she ran into trouble and, uh, wasn't able to make it back. I don't think that's the case here, but fair warning, this might lead you to a dead end. In this case, I'm sorry. You can use your pip boy to track the beacon's radio signal. The closer you are, the more it will ping. It should get you to where you need to be. Thanks, uh, I'll go meet your tracker. Good luck. And, uh, I hope Lou's okay when you find him. This place is way okay, so that gives us the new radio signal, Hell Fisher's yeah. tracking beacon. Be okay, is. so... We're going to do that next time, though. That should be somewhere down here in this circle. But for now, we're going to go talk to Paige. Down at Foundation. Okay, here we are back at Foundation. Let's uh, speak with Paige. Like Foundation. I've got friends out there that didn't you keep coming them. around. At this rate, we'll have to get you to build a house for yourself. Oh, wait. You dwellers have that whole camp thing going on. I want to talk to you about Vault 79. Look at these blueprints. What? You want us to build a vault? That's a little outside of our usual work order. Huh? Oh, I see. Interesting. Client was obviously paranoid about security. Lasers, turbots, super thick walls. This is about that treasure, isn't it? So it's not bull after all. It's in this vault. And you want us to help you get it. It's not just about treasure. We want to build a new currency. You got some grand scheme to reignite the basis of capital. And all that other money talk the lobbyists on the hill would always yammer about. That's all well and good. 
But my concern is how that gold can help us right here, right now. How it can help the people of Foundation. <sighs> Look, let's say I believe you. A structure like this, you need some serious equipment to do any demo work. And if I got you that equipment, you'd be on board? Yeah. Well, I mean, we could start thinking about the rest of this nonsense. Laser trip wires? How the hell are we gonna handle that? Oh, well, one thing at a time. You get us a big enough drill, we can find the right spot to hit. Every structure's got its weak point. I know a drill we can use. The mother load from Horner Industrial. That's, uh, the mining conglomerate, right? Yeah, that might just work. I'll start talking to folks about how we can crack the rest. You keep up your end, we might just be in business. Alright, so that starts the quest Trade Secrets. And we have to search Hornrat Industrial to find a way to bust into the vault. So we're now actually on course to get into the vault with uh, either the Raiders or the Settlers. Uh, to my understanding, you cannot do both, but we're gonna ride this thing up to the point where uh, basically we have to make a choice and even then i'm gonna run through it with a different character on the alternate side so that we can see what it's like on both sides i think that'll do it for this video we've gotten pretty far next time when we come back we're going to be working on cheating death and or trade secrets depends on how long the first one takes uh we may do some of these videos with uh, both the uh, settler and raider uh, quest combined or we might do one or the other again based on time this has been the resident cartographer thanks for watching I'll see you again next time.